Hey everybody, Ben here from The Beard Guys. Today we're going to take a look at everything you need to know about the ranch in Power World, which is one of the most underestimated buildings in the game that can help you farm tons of useful resources whilst AFK that you probably didn't even realise it could get. From humble wool and eggs all the way through to cotton candy and high quality cloth, the ranch can do it all. And today I'm going to quickly go through all of the different powers that can use it, where you can find them, and what resources they will give you. If you find today's video useful at all, then drop a like and sub to tell the algorithm you said hi, and why not take a look at one of my other Power World videos. So the ranch is one of the first buildings you get access to in Power World. You get it unlocked at level five in the tech tree, and you've probably already built one, and if you're anything like me, then you've probably mostly ignored it and chucked random powers in it. Maybe you've chucked a Vixie in it to get some spheres, maybe you chucked a cow in there to get some milk, but you've probably not paid too much attention to it. But when I started looking through all of the different powers you can assign to it, you actually have a lot of different resources you can get. We're going to start out with the basics and work our way through to the more exciting and rare ones at the end of the video. So let's get stuck straight into it. So each ranch can take up to four powers and there's three different powers that will give you wool when assigned to the ranch. These are the lamb balls, which can be found just about everywhere, but particularly in these orange areas shown. If you manage to start the game and not see these, then then you've done something quite remarkable. The next power that's going to give you wool is going to be the Kremis, which is also pretty easy to find, shown in the orange areas here. And thirdly, the Melpaca can also get you wool, shown in the areas on screen in the daytime. All three of these powers are pretty low level, easy ones you can catch from very early in the game. And you can see the amount of wool that they'll drop on the floor as they harvest in the ranch. This is just a little base that I've made for this video. It's not really a normal base that I use. So there's not really infrastructure set up here. But having a little dedicated base for AFK farming materials can be quite useful if you wanted to go down that route because it stops the powers going off and doing random other tasks. And they'll just focus on working in the ranches rather than going off and doing other things you might not want them to do. If you do go down that route, then make sure you've also assigned a power or two to do transporting if you want to AFK grind. That's the little box icon you can see there on the celery. If you can find someone who only does that as well, it can be useful and stop them getting distracted. But the Kilimari, the celery, and there's plenty of other the higher level ones that can do that as well are all pretty good at that. They can be a bit janky and get stuck coming in and out of the ranches, but they do seem to get the job done eventually. If you leave any of the Kremis, the Lamble and the Melpaca in a ranch, they're going to drop tons of wool for you, which you can then make into other resources you want to use. Next up for the ranch is the Chicopee, which gives you eggs and again is very, very easy to find in all of the starting areas you can see shown in orange on the map. Stick some of these in your ranch and you're going to get loads of eggs, which you can use to make into some really useful food items for early game and even mid to late game for stuff like cake. Eggs are very, very useful. They also produce them pretty quickly, so you will get tons and tons of these if you go for four chickpeas. Next up, and one of the ones that is probably not quite as useful, is the Capra tea. And the Capra tea gives you red berries. You can find them in these yellow marked areas here. Pretty low level power that's very easy to come by. But you can already farm berries from a berry farm in your base anyway. So this is just a bit of an alternate way to get them. It's not really going to make any sense, I'd say, to have four of them grinding it out like this. But maybe if you had one in there and a mixture of other pals grinding out materials in a ranch it might just keep them slowly topped up but personally i tend to use berry farms but you can use these guys to get yourself some more red berries another food item you can get using the ranch is milk and you do that with the mozzarina these are a little bit more niche to find you can see them in the orange area on the map as shown in the middle there if we go onto the map here it's kind of in, in this area the sealed realm of the sword master ravine entrance kind of all the way around this sort of area here just to the west of the red map mountainous area near the start. They're not massively high level, so you can get these fairly early on, and they're going to give you tons and tons of milk, which you can then use to craft all sorts of recipes in the cooking pot. Again, also very useful for making cake. You can make pancakes with it, and all sorts of food items that are going to be really useful for breeding, for keeping your pals happy and fed and sane when they're working, and for feeding yourself, of course. Next up is the bee guard, which is going to get you honey in your ranch, and these can be found in the orange areas marked here. They're a little bit higher higher level but not too crazy. But once you get these pals in your base, they're going to drop honey into your ranch, which is really useful to feed to your pals and also to make into some other items as well. And last up,
up on the list of food items you can get from the ranch is the woolly pop which can actually get you candy floss these are found in quite a limited area on the map you can see similar area to where we found the cows earlier in the middle and if you stick some of these in your ranch you're going to get loads and loads of cotton candy drop it's not the most nutritious or sanity giving item in the game but it is quite useful for some things because it actually has no spoil timer on it unlike other things you can see these eggs here have a 10 minute spoil timer but the cotton candy has no spoil timer whatsoever moving on to non-food items you can get from the ranch the vixie is a really useful animal to use that you may well have heard about already you can find them in and around the red mountains near the middle of the map in those orange areas there and vixies are actually going to drop three different things basic power spheres gold coins and arrows which early game are really really useful you can see these four here have dropped absolutely loads and it's a really nice way of getting yourself loads of power spheres early on particularly if you're trying to quickly level up when you've just started and you need loads of power spheres vixies are a great way you can do that and of course you go through loads of arrows as well when you're pretty early game and you're trying to tame pals they don't drop a ton of gold but we're going to come on to a pal that can give you a lot more gold in just a second next up if you want to find more gold coins than the vixies can provide then the mal or the mal christ can do that these don't come up with a habitat on the map but they can generally be found in lower level caves this is the sea breeze fast travel spawn point down here and this is the small cove one and there's some caves that you find along some of these cliff lines found them in multiple of them and they just generally seem to be quite common in lower level caves if you chuck some of these into your ranch then occasionally out of some sort of orifice they are going to drop for you these little bags which have 10 gold coins in each later on in the game that's not really going to seem like very much but if you have a load of these going then you might find that that adds up to quite a nice amount of money if you're just off doing other things and gaining money afk Another really useful pal you can use in the ranch that is a little bit higher level is the flambelle. These tiny little things can be found either in the volcanic areas in the bottom left of the map or also in this thin little strip of orange you can see in the middle just to the right there. They're not actually super high level, particularly in that little thin strip of orange, so you can get them fairly early in the game. And if you chuck these into your ranch, then they're actually going to drop fire organs. They don't drop them super quickly like some of the other things, but it is a great way to acquire them afk without having to go out and capture or kill any pals and last but certainly not least is the sibilux which is this ice creature that can be found right up in the top of the map in the frozen areas here you do need to be a bit higher level they seem to be sort of level 35 36 plus once you go up into these areas you can find them around the edges you can see here on this save i've barely even been into it i've just been up to the pristine snow field here which you can get up to from the no man's trail and around these areas I've managed to find level 36 to 38 ones and capture them with hyperspheres. Using the Sibiluxes in a ranch, they'll actually drop for you high quality cloth. And you can see they drop absolutely loads of it as well. So a really, really useful pal to get. They drop you a great resource that you normally have to craft out of other resources, which does beg the question why we don't have more things like that in the game. We are just in early access, but it'd be great to see more things added to the ranch to give you other resources if we can get high quality cloth off then why can't we get ingots or refined ingots from some sort of creature if we can get fire organs then why isn't there one for ice organs or maybe for pal fluids i think there's plenty of scope there for lots of other useful things to be added to these ranches it's worth noting that if you level up your pals abilities using the pal condenser then you can increase the drop rates of these items in the ranch but we'll save that for another video as you can see though, great way to get loads of resources if you leave them for just a few minutes and go away, you can actually get tons and tons of stuff with very little effort and very little resources invested into acquiring it. So that's everything for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, then drop a like and a sub to show your support and take a look at one of my other Power World Tips and Tricks videos. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Ben, we are The Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time.